I just doing a video about my little senior dog. She's my uh, retiring service dog. Um, she has dementia now and forgets. Eating is a really big problem with her. Uh, normally I give her a, I always have given her just kibble in a bowl like this, but um, now uh, she's become like textures and stuff really affect her and everything. So, um, I'm having to, excuse me, <clears throat> switch up how I do her food. So, sometimes I have to use a plastic plate, like this one. It has a rim around the edge, so when she licks it, um, it doesn't fall off the plate. And I have to kind of, I can't put one pile there. I have to split the pile into fragments all over the dish so they, they look smaller, less intimidating. Sometimes I actually have to push the food mostly to one side and then just separate some fragments on one side, um, wait for her to eat those, and then add a little more and a little more. But today I said, let me try this, because normally if I have ice cream, I um, let her lick the ice cream dish. So... Um, She's thinking this is a treat today and a little bit more willing to eat. She forgets that she's eating or she can't make sense of meal time and wanders off and does something else. Uh, she'll usually eat small portions, so this is good to know if you have a senior dog. Don't just put the food down and expect them to just eat it. Um, and then get upset with them if they don't like being upset with them is a really big issue for the for the pet parent um, you really have to be patient and um, understand that their mind isn't working properly which is hard to remember if you had an animal that has had like really good <laughs> it's been really good and all of a sudden you're seeing something like they're missing the potty uh, can't find a potty going someplace they're not used to going. They like doing it in uh, odd potties. <laughs> um, you can't spank them for it, or they become like terrified to go pee at all. Like it, they'll confuse it and it'll get worse. So I just um, tell her not that spot and I show her the spot. Sometimes she comes to me and she needs to know where to go. She can't remember and I don't understand her communication. So I, um, figure it out finally if she's persistent enough and doesn't go and just lay down in a ball and feel sorry about it um you know mad with me a little bit but i'll just pick her up and take her into her potty and let her go um she has a a potty box that is set up with a hose that will drain into the toilet for the pee and there's a plastic grid I will try to put the link um, for the plastic grid for the potty box um, in the description. It allows the pee to go through but not the poop and I just shower, after I clean the poop and put it in the toilet, I shower the, the shower head uh, in the potty box and spray everything down in it so that um, it just drains into the toilet and then scrub it with some dishwashing liquid and a toilet mop and I'm good to go. So she's ready for another bite. So just really small little amounts and uh, let, her, let her not be too intimidated. Every single time I put too much food in her dish she's intimidated and walks away. I found the smaller portions are really helping her to manage. I think her attention span too. She just doesn't have the attention span anymore to be able to sit there and eat a whole plate of food and not forget to walk and walk away. Here she goes. See, come back. We're eating. Did you forget? Did you forget we were eating? Do you feel full? Are you done? Does you want mama to pick it up? Here, look, what's that? A treat. It's in the ice cream dish. Look. 
Oh, see? And something simple like that. Good girl. Good girl. Eat your food. Good girl. See, just a simple, gentle reminder, a, a redirect, very gentle, very loving, very, you know, not overly enthusiastic because it seems like the sounds of the boys really get her. Um, but as I was saying previously, you know, look for the, the, the doggy twill. I'll do a video on that another time so keep your eyes open for that one be maybe subscribe if you want to uh, so that you can catch it later it'll come into your feed at some point <laughs> anyway um, yeah just, and, and the other thing is is I, I noticed that dogs in general really love licking the dish like they love to just lick after they've eaten polishing their dish is ritualistic to them. I think a lot of humans don't understand dog. Um, they just don't understand dog culture, you know? They, the humans think they are the dog culture, but they're not. They're, the dog is its own culture, and they have their own kind of traditions and habits and likes. What did you get? Is that your treat? What mommy give you? A treat in the ice cream dish. Where's the ice cream dish? There it is. What's that? Is that is that ice cream? That's ice cream? No, it isn't. That's a treat. That's a treat. Mommy put the treats in there. Eat your treat. Eat that. Eat. Don't forget. Good girl. Oh, that's a good baby. That's very good. Very good. Do you feel full? You feel full yet? She's just in a moment of forgetting, like not being able to keep her her thought in her head about what she wants, what she's like she's disconnecting from probably her body, her feelings of hunger, her her needs, her understandings. She's just having like delirium moments it's okay Buffy sometimes she's scared and she comes and really like clingy on me and wants to sit on my lap real tight real close and uh, she's trained to alert me so sometimes she's alerting me for herself I have found yes yeah, she's so cute she looks like she's smiling but it's really her underbite not her not her top teeth but her bottom teeth that are showing it's so cute so uh, the other thing too is, is like when she's okay with it and she's had, you know she, that the, the animal has had enough or even if they haven't, but try again in just a short little while, you know, pick up their food and like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And then when they start feeling capable again, right, when you feel like you can, and then just remind them, like, act like it's all new, like it didn't happen before. Just act like it didn't happen before, like they hadn't eaten anything. Treat it like it's a brand new event. Here we go, see? Oh, look! There she is, her treats! She she comes back around. I won't, she's waiting for me to say okay, but when I say okay, she doesn't know what to do. They've got the itchy eyes. Mommy say treat? Wait for me to say okay. No, wait for me to say okay. No, 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 don't think about Lincoln. Come here, think about your food. <gasps> wait for me to say okay. Ready? Wait, see how distractible she is? Come here, baby. Okay, okay, puppy. Lincoln's laying down. Lincoln's laying down. He make the sound at the door. Lincoln lay down at the door. Good girl, see, that's sometimes you just gotta tell him. They, they can't think it for themselves. You have to tell them what's going on a lot. She's just super distracted. This is dementia. Now she's asking for it. Yes, you can have this. You want? Okay. She can't do it. You need help? Does You need some help, puppy? You want some help? Oh, mama help you. Here, let me get this. There you go. Okay, here, let mommy help you. 
help you? Here. I don't know what made her think. I don't know. She just can't remember that she can lick it out of the thing. Or she starts thinking about a spoon and likes that activity too. And the biggest mistake pet parents are going to make with their senior senile dog is that the dog is spoiled. Like, just go with love. Don't be so critical and hard. I, I make the same mistake myself. It's like my go-to thought when I'm not used to this. I start thinking, you know, I'm having to do all these tricks to get her to eat. I'm doing the tricks, and that's backwards. So I start thinking something's wrong. She's, um, you know, I need to get control. Of it. No, the best way to get control of it is to keep your dog healthy. Do what it takes. Realize that they're they're having dementia. That they can't think properly. Their brains aren't working properly. Not. And and the thing is, is you'll see them be better, and 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 she'll eat out of a dish. She'll eat maybe later or tomorrow. She'll eat right out of her dish and eat and finish the whole thing herself when she's not having that senior moment, you know, when she's not in the dementia um, cycle. And it cycles out and it cycles in. So be gentle with your pets. I could say a thousand more things about this, but please, for the ones that we loved and have loved for so long and how much they've put up with us and served us, really, they have served us. How have we ever cried to them when we didn't have someone around? They've served us, whether they're a service dog or not. So treat them good, okay? Just be patient.